Right, morning guys. So we're back on our, another walk. Um, last night we stayed at Hayfield um, for New Year's Eve and had the fireworks and everything last night. So we went out for a few drinks and something to eat with the, uh, what was the pub called? Um, the George. The George. Hotel. Um, lovely meal, cut pints, talk to locals. So we're off on another walk today, New Year's Day. It's 2024, as you'll probably see in the description anyway. And we're going across the Kinder, well not Kinder Scout, we're going to go up to the Fall. Uh, we're fall, going around the ridge, aren't we? Around the ridge. Towards Edale. And we're going on to Edale. We're hopefully going to get to Edale before the sun goes down. Um, okay. And then we'll have something to eat and get the train back. And then we can go from New Mills and walk back from New Mills to Hayfield again. Um, we can't do a circular walk because we set it off late and this time of year we'd lose the sunlight. And we don't really want to be up on top. Um, when the sun drops down, it's dark. So it's going to be approximately six miles, I think, to get from Hayfield to Edel. So uh, we'll update some images along the way. I'll just show you a panoramic image now. So this is the panoramic view, just uh, not far from Hayfield now. Beautiful day, got really good sunshine and good clouds. I hope it stays like that. And just in the back going there, going that way, is Hayfield, where we just come from. There's a lovely campsite down there as well, which I don't believe we've done a vlog on. So we, should, we might be able to video it later if we get back that way. Um, but only for, uh, it's a, we just got out onto the Kinder Estate. It's been hard going getting out of Hayfield because there's been so much rain. Um, a lot of the paths are waterlogged. One of them was so bad with waterlogged, we had to take a massive detour to get across it. So we're still pushing on, you can see the views, I hope we're still getting to Edel, you know, it's getting late, well I say late, it's just after 12 now, so we've got about 4 hours really before the sun drops, so it depends on the paths and the terrain, and it's when we, if we get there or not, um, and we, we're out to head back up guys, but it's been a hard slog most of it, mainly because of the wet weather, um, it's still cold but at least it's not raining and we've got blue skies and the sun shines out. As you can see behind us, we've got great views. Amazing, considering it's a day, It will still rain I'm from 4 or 5 o'clock onwards, heavy, later, but that's all right. Right, so now that we're in the Kinder Estate area, the paths have become more better in a way that they're easier to see and lay out. Um, they're still quite boggy, some of it. There's still quite a lot of water around. It rained most of yesterday and not last night, but we're lucky that it hasn't got to rain today. And it's not too bad. Um, it's just not when it gets to the low levels that like we're going into now. It can get hard to get across because of the depth of the water. But this is uh, January. This is New Year's Day, and I don't know if it's coming out because the sun's probably in the camera. But the views are amazing for a New Year's walk. All right, so we're just heading over the hill, got over the mountain part. We're heading down now to the Ford, which we're hoping that you're going to be able to pass. Um, not done it before, so being a Ford, don't know whether, how much water, but other people are doing it. I'll show you the views. So we're going to be we're going to be heading down this part here into this valley. Um, I think most of the hill walking, the hardest parts are done now. Fingers crossed. All right, so we're just walking down Jacob's Ladder. And below us, this is the Ford, which is, um, we haven't actually got to go down into, which I'm quite glad of. There's some lovely waterfalls in the background. And we're lucky that we're going down this, not up. We have seen a few people run up it, which is quite impressive. And that's not going to be me. Or me. All right, so we've just come down Jacob's Ladder. We've just got to the bottom. We've got some lovely views of the waterfall where we get across this nice little bridge. I'll just show the other side of that bridge. So this walk now goes on to Booth. We should be quite flat now because we're along the bottom part and a lot of people have been walking it. So hopefully it should be a nice little stroll now into Booth. And then on to Edendale. Right, so 
Uh, so this nice little flat path now, as you can see behind us. Um, this takes us into Booth. And then from there with Edel. I don't know if it is Edel from Booth. No. Yeah, that, that'd be fun. <laughs> well, we've got a map. We'll have a look. So far it's been, this, this most part from the, going up the top part and coming down Jacob's Ladder, it's been really, really nice. Nice scenery and everything else. Lots of people as well. So and the only hard part of the wall life. was um, Hayfield, wasn't it? Yeah. Getting out of Hayfield, there's probably a better route um, than what we did maybe. But, um, Just because it was flooded and yeah. we had to take a detour which took us up a mountain and then we came down and it was so steep and there was a river at the bottom and we were worried we were going to fall. We couldn't see any way over the river initially before we sat. I didn't video any of that because like, like I said, it was so bad that we thought we were going to end up sliding down on the backside. And we actually thought at some point that we might have to turn back um, because of that part, really. But that's the experience of walking. We've got to get more experience. We've done walking quite a few times, quite a lot of times in the years, haven't we? Just, but we haven't done it for a long time. No, we've got a few ideas as well to get through deeper water next time, haven't we? Yeah carrying some bare bin liners so we just walk through the water rather than take massive detours out of the way which would be nice. It wasn't far, it's was only like 50 yards but it was just so yeah. deep we couldn't have got through and there was um, a, a barbed wire fence on either side. Anyway so we're carrying on, carrying on. we're hopefully getting to Edale then before nightfall which, which is more <laughs> possible now than I really thought at the beginning and we'll have a nice pint of beer and then we're going to get the train back so we'll let you know what it's like getting the train back then to uh, New Mills isn't it? one of our best first of january's ever yeah and right. in such a beautiful place we'll see you in a minute in or beef so we're just walking through beef <laughs> i think this is upper beef or upper beef yeah. um ah. footpath here pennine waves nice had the footpath we know we're like going the right way and we had a footpath further back a put sign saying that edel this way, one and a quarter miles. Oh, there's a campsite here. Yeah? Probably just for tents, I expect. Let's have a look. Huh. Nice. It's nice. So, this should be a nice, easy walk now. Um, not much in Upper Booth, just a, more like a farm. So, we just walk through the farm. And then uh, should we cut on the flat now to Edo? Lots of dog walkers. See, so if you've got a dog, you'll love this. And be interested to see what Edo's like. See where we, one year, another time, we might do a walk to Edo and stay there overnight and then get the train back. Yeah. All right, so just coming out of upper booth behind us, we're finding that on the walking trails like this, there's a lot of liars or exaggerators, we should say. Because when we was at the top of Jacob's Ballada, we talked to someone and they said it's 40 minutes to Edo. No, it's definitely not 40 minutes for us to Edo. Because it's been about an hour, I think, hasn't it? Yeah. Or more. We've still got a mile, we, a mile to do. Yeah, we've still got a mile off. And then they said it's, it's flat all the way. Well, we went round the corner of the upper booth thinking it's going to be flat. And as you can see behind me, I'll just spin the camera around. It's uphill. So we've got to go all uphill again. Not too bad though. Uh, but it is uphill. Last bit, I Hopefully, last bit up here. Over the top, down the other side to Edo. Then you know, a pint of beer. All right, so we've made it into Edo, finally. <laughs> finally! Oh, we never find this elusive place. So it's taken, uh, what did you say, four hours, wasn't it? Four hours and seven miles. Yeah, so that's nice, four hours, seven miles. So we'll have a little look around here now. Um, hopefully there's a pub that's open, because I could do, definitely do a pint of beer now. And then uh, we know the train's there to get back. Oh, look at that, walk straight out, and there's the pub. We'll have a look and walk around to see what else is around in Edo. It's supposed to be one of the top 10 most beautiful towns of the Peak District, this is. So it's worth having a little walk around since we've done seven miles. <laughs> well, it's very picturesque houses around. I'm not sure whether it's much more than just one pub or it's just the one pub, else. There's a farm, that new Ford Farm Cafe. I think there's further down, oh, towards, further the down towards the train. Station, yeah, I was going to say, going top, to called the Rambler Inn. Yeah, so we're at the top part of Edale, coming yeah. up from that walk. So we'll probably have a pint up here because it's nice up here. I do like this. Might have just have a little walk over here. We can hear some water and see another waterfall. But definitely, very lovely, picturesque little town. 
And you can imagine being up here with the snow and the snow tops, that'd be a lovely one to do. Maybe in a couple of months time, we can get up here again, that'd be great. So we can hear the water. Oh, there it is. You just about see it down there. Here we are. So for now, we're gonna head back to that pub, get bo dirty bottoms off, waterproof bottoms that is, not all the hose off, and have a pint of beer. All right, so we just had a, a nice pint in the old nag's head behind us, mm -hmm. which is the end of that walk we've just done. Um, hopefully, show you a few videos of that. It's got a lovely um, menu in there. Um, they do um, game pie and they do a sausage pick and mix. So if you like sausages like me, stag sausages. You can pick your sausages, pick, pick. your mash, and then pick what gravy you want. It's different <laughs> ones. It's like a pick and mix for for old men like me. That'd yeah, be for next birthday. We're definitely going to get back there for something to eat next time. We didn't eat there this time because we've still got to get back to Hayfield today. I was all really having too many pints of beer in there and eating the sausages, and I'll probably never get back. Um, not sure whether you can stay there, we didn't find out. So I'll have to look that up on the, on the video because we do like the idea of getting the train up to here, Edel, and not have to worry about the car and then going for walks. So we're heading down to the bottom part of Edel now. We've got about just under an hour between now and the next train. Hopefully we get that next train. Um, so we're going to walk down here. There's another pub down here. Um, so we'll have a pint down here and see what this one's like. And this one is an inn. Apparently you can stay at this one. The Rambler's Inn. The Rambler's Inn. There you go. So we have a look and see whether we can stay there. I'm going to spin the camera around. Show you a bit more of Edo. Yeah, it's lovely here. I mean, when I going to win that lottery ticket, We'll be moving up to Edel. Nice pubs and nice sausages by the looks of it. And game pie. So, let's just show you some of these picturesque places. We're just coming down to the river now. There we can hear it. Let's cross over. So we're talking to the guy in the pub. He owns the campsite at Booth, which we went past it, so it is tents only. Um, so he owns it and his son runs it. So it'd be a nice place if you're a rambler and you've got tents. And you... We're just walking past the lovely church. Okay, so anyone who's coming up here for ch parking, there's a three hour parking slot so long here. So, been a lovely walk that one. That was, like I say, seven mile walk. We're starting to feel a bit thick now, a bit achy. We've stopped. Find when you stop walking, you sit down, getting up again, start walking again, you, your muscles really feel it. Look, Nice um, views across the Kinder Scout. It wasn't as high as the one we'd done before, the Kinder Scout. Um, so it's nicer that it wasn't too high. Jacob's Ladder was great because we were going down Jacob's Ladder rather than going up it. Which is really good. And it was nice at the fact that when we got to Edale, we went straight out. The last little bit, the last mile of Edale, to get into Edale, dragged on a bit. Um, really because you're tired. And, we do find the last bit, it's a bit tiring. Um, and then coming to Edo, popping out straight into the pub, which is in the next head, which is lovely. Yeah, so just pick, pop, spin the camera back around again. And yeah, so this is, this is the visitor centre. And there's another campsite down there. 
it looks like it's closed. We're not going to pop in. We haven't got the time really now because we're, we're reliant on getting that train. We've still got to get down to the main part of the village. And there's uh, caravan sites further down we saw as we was walking across. You could come bring your van up, your motorhome or caravan and stay here and do similar walks. Residential activity centre there. That's uh, if you're more energetic than us, you want to do rock climbing and stuff, that's the place to go. There you go, it's a sign for it, the ambulance in. Alright, I'm going to pop in here. We'll see if I can get any video in, like I did in the last one. Depends how busy it is. Um, and you can see, well you probably can't see, but right up the top in the mountain in front of us, um, there's a load of people up there. See up there now. Yeah. Loads of walking places around here. This place looks lovely, doesn't it? The ambulance in. And like I say, I think you can stay here at night as well. Right, so we've just had uh, a nice pint in the Ramblers Inn. Got a little bit of video in, show you a little bit, not a lot. Um, nice pub, another nice pub, nice food, quite busy. Seems to be a theme about sausages around here. They do loads of sausages in there as well, which is lovely. Um, hopefully, we're going to get the train now. Just walk down to the station because we had a bit of a scare. We saw the train go past and thought, hang on. We weren't supposed to be due for another 15 minutes, of road, and that's a, an old train. So we're walking up to the train station now. And, uh, I have a bit of walking up there and all, so hopefully we haven't missed the train. And we can get the train back to New Mills, and then from there we've got a three mile walk. Um, we're hopefully having something to eat there, and then three mile walk back to Hayfield. We'll see how we feel when we get there. It's getting late now, it's getting dark and a bit cold. This is the Northern Service 2. Manchester, Piccadilly. The next station stop is Shinley. So that went pretty well. Um, we did manage to get the train. We thought we lost. That didn't take much to get the train to get to here. It's only a couple of stops. So we're hopefully well, there's the point at Millennium Walkway. That's where we're going to go home, isn't it? Back to Hayfield. Right. So hopefully um, we're going to get to the town now, have a look around there. I'm not sure where we're going to be able to do the vlog of the Millennium walk back purely because the it's four o'clock now and the sunlight's dropping because it's time of year. And the GoPro doesn't work very well in low light. Probably not at all at low light. Even the phones in it don't work that well. So if we don't get any more vlogging done, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been a great walk, but hopefully we'll do some vlogging and we can update it. We've got a three mile walk from New Mills where we are now, which gets us back to Hayfield. I'll update this all on my website so you'd have the walks there and I use the outdoor activity app which you have all the walks so you can download them through outdoor activity and put them on your phones and like we do we follow them through GPS on the phones but that's been really good it works out really well it's nice walk nice few points Beautiful I'd day. love to stay at Edale e for, for a meal maybe something to do in the future in the summer um, definitely would do this in the summer months not do this in the winter as well snow time and we're in the winter now but it's snow, when it's snowing and it's great to be able to use the public transport to get back to our original destination rather than have to do a circular walk which is the first time we've ever done and it works out really really well so if we don't see you again this lights dropping and you don't know how good this is coming out thanks for watching